Mr. Briseño, police! Abre la puerta! I don't know what he said, but it didn't sound good. No. Bring back memories? I can't remember. Did you find her? Uh, we'll help you find her. She's ready. I think you had enough of this, pal. Uh, is she wearing a blue dress? We'll let you see for yourself. Rafael Bersenio, a.k.a. Celaya, you're under arrest for the murder of your wife. She's dead. Uh, you have dead. the right to remain silent. Fat chance. Uh, Anna, what am I going to do? Uh, from what I've been told, at least I was a happy drunk. From what I've been told, I wouldn't go that far. At least you never kill nobody. Song Wang, we can grow flowers, pretty, pretty flowers, roses, and gardenias, and tulips. No sunflowers? I love sunflowers. Stop the car. You got to stop the car now. Give me one good reason. I'm going to throw up. Good reason. Hey, if you haven't noticed, our friend here bets for the other team. Men's room's busted. All right, go. What do you do? I think you got a customer. There are no memories? It does sound familiar. Dad, Raphael, don't you look? All right. Lady. Hey, it would have been nice if she left her name and phone number. Maybe she did. Hannah Mayer, website consultant. Uh... This could be some clown's idea of a joke. Let's hope. What did the attendant say? He cleaned the bathroom first thing this morning, which means it was probably written today. You believe him? An M and M C D is about as close to trouble as this kid wants to get. He said the only person who asked for the bathroom key all day was a woman in a blue Chevy. DMV's checking for plates with A X D two. Three deaths and a kidnapping. I'm only on my second cup of coffee. Speaking of which, how are we doing on death number two? Mr. Brisano's talking his head off. Only it's nothing we want to hear. I figure a couple hours to sleep it off. Hannah Mayer didn't make it to work today. Good for her. Who? That's the name on the business card we found in the ladies' room at the gas station. I managed to find a home address. Would it be too much to ask for her to just be home in bed with the flu? Man, the way this day is going, it would be a miracle. Really? She's probably out shopping. Between you and me, I don't think she'll sleep unless our daughter's the best dressed kid in the building. Where's your daughter? In the womb. Hannah's eight months pregnant. Does your wife take off from work like this very often? Sure, there's always a doctor's appointment or some fancy schmancy baby store she's got to get to. You want to hear about rackets? Don't get me started. She didn't mention anything this morning? I've been on my boat the past two days. Does she usually go to the doctor alone? I go when I can. What about shopping? I don't know. You guys are serious. Like I said, this is probably a big mistake, but we found your wife's business card in a restroom at a gas station. Yeah, well, she gives them out to her clients. There was a weird message on the mirror. <laughs> what kind of message? Whoever wrote it claimed that they were being kidnapped. Are you kidding? You haven't received any calls, huh? Would I be standing here talking to you if I did? Yeah, AXD2. No, X, like an X ray. Yeah. You do that. So, did he confess yet? Only that he went to the high school prom with some girl named Lorraine, and she ditched him afterwards. She has the prettiest eyes. Blue like the ocean. Lenny. Detective Briscoe David Carlson, Hannah Mayer's father. Her husband, Simon, told him what happened. What was he doing sailing when she's pregnant like that? We're not sure anything happened. Oh, he killed her. How can you be so sure? Because he's a jerk. Always was and always will be. 
Believe it or not, Mr. Carlson, that's not against the law. He cheated on Hannah. One time, maybe you can forgive. But when it's a steady diet, that's a hard pill for a father to take every day, let alone a wife. How do you know? Hannah told me. I told her to leave them. I begged her. But she thought her baby would cure everything. A lot of guys cheat, Mr. Carlson. But what you're implying is a big step from a pit stop at a Motel 6. What Detective Briscoe means is that we don't even have a body. Last week, she finally confronted him about his affairs. It led to a big fight. Did he hurt her? No. But he did say divorce was out of the question. He said he worked too hard to toss half his money down the toilet. What kind of husband? I'm sorry. We'll get to the bottom of this, sir. If your son-in-law has something to hide, we'll find it. My daughter is dead. I know she is. And I also know that Simon had something to do with it. Well, why don't you just go home now? And I'll keep you up to date, I promise. AXD2. Right. You're an angel. You got an address? Thank you. Don't get too comfortable. That gas station where Hannah Mayer left the message is near the West Side Highway, which leads to the Holland Tunnel, which takes you across the river. New Jersey DMV had a read on the plates. Mm. New York City Police. Hurry, please, God, hurry. She's upstairs. I need a bus at 984 Mead. Repeat, 984 Mead. You ever do this before? Hey, man, you're the one with kids. All right, uh, bring me some clean towels and boil some water. Doctors really do that? George Clooney does. That's good enough for me. <laughs> so was this about money? I don't need money. Why would you say that? Well, because that's what most kidnappers are after. Well, the little girl. It was a miracle. You're a hero. Believe it or not, she could have done it on her own. It's natural. For everyone but me. You know, she could have died. No, I wasn't going to hurt her. Hannah has no idea how blessed she is. You and Hannah friends? We met at Dr. Fairman's office this morning. He was the sixth doctor I'd been to. So you can't have children? It's all I ever wanted. Babies are God's gift. I bet you Hannah thinks the same thing. She could have others. It's not fair. She couldn't have one of her own, so she figured she'd take someone else's. Worked for Tony B. Who's that? Took my bike when I was 12. Oh. From Hannah Mayer's husband. Who? Uh -huh. I was looking forward to arresting him. Good night. Man, three murders and a baby. If you drank, I'd buy you a beer. Hey, I drink seltzer and I'm buying. No law says you have to answer that. Yeah. All right. All right, we'll be there. What? Make that four murders. Remember Andy the jogger? The heart attack. Man, life should be so easy. <laughs>